welcome to the tech channel today we have this module it's a fingerprint sensor or detector it detects the fingerprints as its name said and store them in an internal flash drive it has uh, one here and you can communicate with your arduino board so today we're gonna see how to use it and wire it with our arduino then we're gonna do a little project including this uh, LCD I2C screen you can check other tutorials if you want to see how to use uh, the screen so this uh, module name is FPM 10A or 50DY as written here there are many versions so this is one of the classic it has 6 pins but we're gonna use only 4 it has uh, ground and VCC then RX and TX and as I said, it has an internal flash, which where it stores the finger and print templates and compare them with Arduino just for the communication. So this thing for the wiring first, and let's begin with the ground. So ground here, and then it uses the RX and TX this let me check rx okay so the rx is with the pin number three from the arduino and you'll find the wiring and the codes and libraries in the link right below don't worry and please if you like the video do a subscribe or like or if you don't understand something contact me and then the other pin is the 3.3 volt here it is it's wired ground 3.3 volt and then the tx with 2 and then the rx with 3 the other one are not connected so let me wire this already flashing a led here to show it's, uh, it is working uh, for first I will not uh, plug my uh, LCD screen we're gonna just use this tool so and uh, let's check uh, I will leave as I said the library in the link and you know how to install it you just go to uh, sketch include library added point zip library and you look for the library to install it now we're gonna check just some examples from this library so the example you want to use is the uh, first one is the uh, enroll so the enroll basically just detects your finger and store it in the flash here So here it is, it's uploaded. Let's open the serial monitor. E first it asks you to give the uh, this uh, the number you will uh, sorry give the finger you will set here an ID. Let's set ID one and you press enter, then it starts waiting for your finger. Then you place your finger here, it stores, it shows you the message that it has been correctly stored then it say, tell you to uh, place the same finger again it takes two pictures of the of the finger and do the storage and the conversion all the things it show you the state of your uh, operations if they are okay or not so the, until now everything is going all right if I encounter a problem or something I will tell you so now we store this finger as a number one, remember it. I'll add a number two. Oh, sorry. Okay, it takes you to more finger, then to place the same finger again. And here it is, I stored two. Let's store the third one. So this is how you store uh, your uh, finger templates. You just enter the the code in the Arduino and you enter the ID one two three two up to one hundred twenty seven, and you 
place your finger and the finger templates are stored in, as they said in the in this module not in the arduino so even if we change the code or uh, something the finger template are still here in the in the module now let's pass to the second uh, code which is the finger print those are just examples from the from the library this uh, this code detects your uh, the id of the finger you place as you remember this is one two three i use for this it tells you to place a finger let's place this one and it found the id number one as we stored here and the level of the confidence the higher the better this is the two and this is the three and this module doesn't have a problem if i change the orientation i can go here it give us a one again or i can go from the side so one detected again from the other side too it has an absolutely no problem as you can see it's very nice for a cheap module uh, as i said eight dollar maybe or nine can't remember so this is it, it, it we stored our uh, finger templates as in the flash drive as an ids then the ids will be detected uh, next so now let's say uh, let's uh, uh, do with the i to c screen a little a little project not in much i will use it later in some uh, other uh, projects just waiting for some uh, tools so for this uh, project i'm gonna use it you should go first through the uh, unroll as we just did it they are already stored if you just uh, play uh, doing it for the first time you just do unroll again and store them uh, your uh, fingers or your uh, friends or something as one two three or what you give if each one uh, uh, an id and then it, as they are stored we go to the next uh, code for this one i'm gonna add my lcd i2c screen gonna wire the 5 volt then the ground and this is an i2c we don't have much uh, wires just the sda and scl with respectively a4 and i5 and here it is Uh, back again sorry for this uh, technical difficulties i was too lazy to move this thing and i end up broken one of my pins here but fortunately i remove it so and that's where, where we have forgot uh, so yes trying this uh, other uh, code so as i said i unroll the uh, first code i did is the unroll so i registered my three fingers here in this uh, module and now we're gonna see another code to associate them with a name or something as you saw before in the finger print it associates them with an id and gives you the id detected so let's go to the other code and so this is the second code let's see through it so here i have the libraries and you know the classic things lcd liquid crystal and uh, the new one is the other fruit fingerprint then we have some uh sorry then we have some declaration for the lcd and then here where i stored as a string names the names i give for the ids 
and those I give them like uh, this uh, three names so this one is my first name and this is the uh, second name I give it and this is the third name you can add it as names as you want so and each it, it's uh, sorry uh, each name is associated with an with a ID so this one is the ID 1 ID 2 and ID 3 so as you know their place in the string is uh, this one is 0 uh, 1 2 so and you should add them like uh, every every time you add a new ID you add there here it uh, the name you want for it so here we is a software serial uh, 2 and 3 for the RX and TX then for the liquid crystal and then we clear our fingerprint sensor and it takes the serial uh, 2 and 3 RX TX then the things we begin it as a uh, 57600 both and then launch our LCD and you know the things you get them then this uh, f function finger dot get template count it counts the number of templates uh, stored in the uh, in the module and then it shows us that the scan is ready and all uh, things it is uh, it get fingered print the easy this is a function i took it from the previous uh, code or previous example from the library and i did some modifications so this one it's uh, just uh, get the image of the finger you place it here then do the transformation and then it search for uh, if it is existing in the library in the database or not as i said they are stored there so if they are found it uh, tells you that it's found a match you can this thing i kept it from the previous uh, code from the previous example it found id and uh, show you uh, the level of confidence as we just saw but this one instead it show you the finger id name so uh, and uh, this minus one just to get uh, because the, in the string it start from zero but in the id here it starts from one so and shows you the scan ready and this gives you as I said the name of the finger scanned. I'm gonna upload it in the Arduino board. So first it shows you this that scan is ready. Then I place my finger. This is as I said the one we scanned as the ID one. It shows you one and the name associated with it. So this is one uh, with my name and then the two and the three. It tells you that there's a match and so you the name is you can use this to open a door or to enter a, a data or something. I think I also scanned this one but before and as you can see it's not in the in the string library is in the string the array sorry so it shows you this uh, things here but you can add it or remove someone let's see how we can add another one so for the add you just add like uh, with this uh, found with this uh, example enroll it's stored as four and let's store a finger from the other hand as I said you place it twice so it's stored as a 4 let's go back to our code uh, sorry I should have modified it here so here before let's add uh, a new one let's go
and here I'll give it this name I wanna do a shout out to this uh, guy one Arduino I leave the link for his uh, project hub in Arduino here I said I will mention in him in one of my videos so here is it one Arduino we have it here and let's re-upload the code okay so our scanner is ready uh, sorry our uh, little project is ready so here is it Okay, let's let's do the other one. Sorry, I just li holding this so you can see it. As you can see, this is it. I'm holding this like this because I want you to see what's happening in the screen. So here, my latest finger we just entered quick scan its name it's one Arduino we we'll just give it this uh, name so that's it for this module I hope you like it it's very simple to use and see you next time and don't forget if you like this uh, video don't uh, press a like or subscribe to the channel to show your support and See you next time.